antimatter. Ooh. So, what we learned is that if you take an antimatter and matter particle and you bring them together, mm -hmm. they annihilate. So, mm, what? I'm 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 weirded out by that because isn't there like conservation of energy? Yes. Okay. Well, no. Conservation of mass mass energy, energy. right? Yeah. Back in the day, conservation of mass, conservation of energy. Right. Einstein comes along and said, "Dude, that's one equation." Right. E equals, equals mc squared. You have e on one side, m on the other. Right. That's what's conserved. So, add up the masses of these two particles. You can look it up. By the way, the masses are identical of a positron and an electron. Right. Add them up. Write down that number. Stick it in e equals mc squared. E comes out the other side. If you convert all of that mass into energy, that's how much energy you're going to have. Okay. Coming out the other side. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's really And you know what C squared is? Uh, the constant that is <laughs> the, uh, the speed of light. Yeah, exactly. It's the speed of light squared. Squared. So, numerically, oh my gosh, you start off with a little bit of mass, you get a lot of energy at the end of this. That's crazy. Because you're multiplying by the speed of light squared. Okay. From that tiny little bit yes. of mass. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that why nuclear bombs? Yes! <laughs> Is that why they blow up the way they do? <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, we need to figure out an antimatter bomb. <laughs> that was not the point of this, Chuck. Oh, I, I mean, 